Thank you very much for joining me, Kevin, son of Tom Clancy, um, at uh, Barstool. Barstool, is it called? The little upstart that you're a part of? Yeah, it's this little shop that we're uh, we're trying to get off the ground. Thanks Bar for coming. <laughs> people call it Barstools for some reason. A lot yeah. of people are like, oh, you, you work for Barstools. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of dumb people out there. I could see that. Yeah. Um, Facts. I remember like when, when uh, I started hearing the name a lot and... I don't know. I just felt like, um, oh, like, oh, it's like a kind of like a flash thing. Like, oh, this is a cool little pop up. And then yeah. like, I don't know, like when, when there's a new sports drink out and you're like, that's cool. And then you kind of, you know, you're like, that'll go away. Right. And, right. Then, and then you guys did not, not gone away. No. What has it been like? Gone. What's that ride been like for you personally? Because it's, it's crazy. It's been such an like you guys are you're part of the culture now. Like everybody yeah. knows the name, everybody. I know it's, it's staggering to me. Like I literally just before I was doing this, I was doing an interview with an old, uh, a partner for the accounting firm I used to work for, which is also so like, insane right, that you were, you're an accountant. I, I, wa I, well in the loosest sense of the word, I, as you can imagine doing this, I fucking sucked at being an accountant. I was very bad at it. Really? But I mean, yeah. Oh, terrible. Terrible. You do your I, own I taxes. Out. No, it's not. It's not that sort of accounting. But even if it was, I wouldn't be able to do that either because I'm bad at it. Okay. So, uh, no, I got I got this guy Kenny Schmelkin who does my taxes. He's you know he's the wait. Did you do like payroll or something? No, it was it was more like it was more like uh, to just keep it like super brief. It was like we had these these poor these investments, and I would go through and make sure that the right people are getting paid the right money. Uh. But I didn't know what I was doing, so it would be like, yeah, this investor gets this much money, and this, and then they'd look back and they'd be like. Nope. Did wrong, you wrong, did you like, see that that, all wrong. that story like a week ago from Citigroup or Citibank where they just, uh huh what, no what, they well you you said like making sure the right people got paid they like accidentally uh paid out five hundred million dollars <laughs> to people and then they're like oh Whoops. We, they said we need that back and it was to vendors that they it was City yeah Citibank uh, it was to people they they work with and all the people were like yeah we're not giving it back. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Fuck that, and they're, man. And they're like, you guys are asshole. And the Citibank was like, we are kind of asshole. Yeah, that's that's on you. You got to yeah. wear that one, man. Yeah, I mean, there's like some <laughs> guy pressed a button. <laughs> it was like, my bad. Yeah, we were. I mean, I used to have to make, you know, these numbers on an Excel spreadsheet match. And I would do whatever it takes to make a match so I could just be done for the day. And it turns out that's really not the right way to do this work. Yeah. It was also, it also had to do directly with, this is 2007, 8, 9. Like that first, you know, first huge crisis. Yeah. Everything was directly related to what I was doing. So I'm out of school. I got my MBA. I'm doing this finance thing. Bro, you have an MBA? I have a fucking MBA. Like what a waste of time and money that was. God damn Literally it. Literally just flushed that down the drain. Definitely like, gone. Definitely. Gone. And I used to think like maybe one day it'll kind of like come back into play. No. Nah. Uh, for sure not. Nothing. Fuck like, no, it's no. not. Not with what you but do. I, I, not, <laughs> not at all. Not at I used all. to do, I did both at the same time. I was I was an accountant and I was like secretly blogging on the side and uh, until I could like do the blog thing full time. But yeah, I remember, I remember hearing like on CNBC being like, you know, these collateralized debt obligations are what's ruining the country. And I was like, that's what I fucking what do. I do. Like, oh I'm ruining God. the country. <laughs> I really felt that way. I pretty much had a decent, like a small hand in the downfall of America in 2009. That's so. pretty cool, man. A lot I, of people can I say apologize. that. I <laughs> apologize. <Yeah. laughs> it's a badge. Uh, not many can say that one going to the grave for sure. So, but yeah, then, so doing that, like it started out as just like a, a small little operation. We always used to work from home in, you know, four or five different cities. And now, like as I was explaining to you before we rolled, like it's a full media company. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean. It's nuts that it's gone this far. Well, the pre like your presence, like the presence of the, you know, like the brand is enormous mm -hmm. and it's, and it's, it's everywhere and it's everywhere. And you like, you know, I mean, I open Instagram and it'll be like, you know, barstool, like there's obviously like that main feed, but I mean, there's, everything is like tagged with like you guys and there's all these little offshoot kind of. Yeah. Well, you know. what we learned, you can just do the barstool kind of like we can bar stoolify anything yeah but the original the original idea was we're going to cover sports mm -hmm. but we're not going to do like x's and o's and break down the analysis it's just going to be like being a fan or like oh did you see the hot girl in the crowd during the game yeah. or did yep. you see what's happening with the the star uh mvp's girlfriend whatever shit like that and then we realized you can do you can apply that same uh analysis if you will to 
golf. You can do it to pop culture. You can do it to comic books. You can do it to, to everything. Got you know literally everything. So in that way, we just turned it into all these different verticals and all these different shows that just have the barstool name and the barstool kind of effect to it. Yeah, because it like, just seems to work every time. <laughs> every fan base has a barstool thing, right? Because it's like barstool, no ASU, FSU, tech. Like that the, was every one of the uh, the biggest thing we did. We started like uh, every country, uh, every college across the country has like a barstool presence and so we were able to sell tickets wild to everything we did sell merch to everything you know you it turns out if you're just like relatable and funny yeah. about people's favorite topics yeah they like it they and that was pretty wild i remember watching um that you guys like i'm saying like as the the brand you guys got wasn't it like one week or one episode of es on espn and then they're well, like, yeah, uh, <laughs> the guys who run, pardon my take. Yeah, that's uh, Dan, Big Cat and his, and his, his co-host PFT commenter. They yeah, they worked on this show for like probably like a full year, rolling out the first few episodes. And uh, they got one episode in before one of the employees at, yeah, at ESPN complained. And, but complained and about ESPN took her back. Uh, so it was it was Samantha Ponder. Um, Christian Ponder's wife. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was her. Um I, on an episode. Were they like, God damn, she's hot, and she was like, That's enough. <laughs> um <laughs> there was some other language used during that that she didn't care for, and they really? kind of made some jokes. And, oh, they directed and, it yeah. towards her. I don't remember this yeah, at all. Yeah, it, it was one of these it was like they basically were saying they don't they didn't like her on like the this the college football panel. Uh-huh. Um and you know, doing what we do, we took it, you know, we went in. Yeah. And they went in and took it pretty far. But you know, uh, <laughs> and then, then, live and learn, I guess. I, I mean, I, what I really did, I felt so bad for those guys because they really did, uh, like they've made an effort to try to be, uh, to to have connections everywhere. I'm kind of like, listen, I'm never gonna be on ESPN. I'm not gonna be on. I'm not gonna be a corporate side of things. No one's gonna, no one's signing me up for that. I don't know about that. You got an MBA, man. Hey, I got the smarts. Yeah, no, but they they were really working at like trying to 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 build that that like relationship, and then and then it got yanked away from them. But I I did I do think we kind of learned like it's better to just do your own thing, and not be you Definitely. know uh, beholding to the the mothership of ESPN. Yeah, for sure. And that's such a, a like they have made some of the weirdest fucking choices. Like. When you look back on what we grew up with with ESPN, like a, a, mm -hmm. a young kid now or whatever would have no idea like how that entire network and the way like their choice, it's just, it feels like a huge corporation that's making, like they don't have an identity anymore. It's, it's It used just, to be awesome, yeah. man. Like those sports center anchor duos. Oh, the best. Were like the closest thing. Those were kind of like the original like podcast duos, yeah, you know what definitely. I mean? Like if if you and Bert were doing uh ESPN highlights, it would be like incredible, you know? It's, and they used to kind of have that and then they just totally abandoned it for whatever reason and it's like, well, yeah, now it sucks. It sucks now, man. It sucks so bad. It's so bad. And the fact that they were, you know, ESPN uh, you know, kind of said that Barstool was not uh, you know, handling we're not proper enough. It's like, have you guys checked your own? Oh have my you ever looked God. in your own closets, ESPN? Like, I mean, I read the book, dude. Some shit was going down at ESPN. That, Some shit, and like, you know. like Sports Center fucking sucks most of the time. Um, I don't know who they got to to fill. I mean, there's uh, there are some talented people there, so I don't want to say that they all, they don't all suck. No, but for sure. a lot of but it. And then they didn't evolve at all, too. It's like you know, you used to watch Sports Center because you needed the highlights. Yeah. And now when you you know when they didn't they didn't evolve with social media and all that like. I don't need to get my highlights from you. So what else are you going to provide? And they yeah. provided nothing. And you could tell PTI that they, and, and around the horn was always like solid. But yeah. even that, like, you know, they it is what it is. That's that's all they really provide. That's you know? all they really provide. And you could tell that they definitely mimic you guys online. Net. Like they're like, what are they doing? We should do something like that on our. Feed. Oh man, when we used to see the like the live streams pop up, like yeah. So what works so well for us is especially with the guys who gamble. You yeah. know, you watch them sweat out their bets, and you watch them celebrate or have a bad beat, and you know. Uh, we called it the electric chair because you know you're sitting there like sweating your ass off. I mean, yeah. I remember watching a Mets a Mets playoff game, uh, and there was a, there's a little bit of a delay when we watch it, yeah. so people at home would see like, all right, this guy just hit a home run, the Mets are gonna lose, and they would rush to my live stream just to watch me suffer and like yeah. collapse, you know? Yeah. And we would show that, and we compare it to the ESPN uh, live stream, and we're talking, they'd have like 170 viewers. Jesus. Like, 
like paltry, like embarrassing numbers where it's like you feel like 150 people could stumble upon this by accident. Yeah. Let alone if you're ESPN, like, you know, come watch our guys. People are just like, no, nah, no, we're thanks. good. Meanwhile, we're doing like 10,000, you know, I mean, like yeah. numbers that blow them out of the water. But that's like, it is that they're, they're not encouraging personality, which is like what no. popped on those early sports centers is like you'd identify like, these guys catchphrases like, yeah. and the yeah. style. Yeah, totally. There's none of that. It's like, you know, it's just a machine. You can replace everyone that comes through. I'm so glad I don't give a mother fuck about gambling. Fuck. Gambling oh, to oh. me is I, like uh, such. It's the one vice I don't have, yeah. but I'm so happy I don't me have. Me too. And like, I, I always I, see I, it. Like, I mean, you guys and other people always just like, here's the spread. And I'm like, this shit could not interest me less. Like, yeah, I, I, I've never had the, uh, the the rush of winning and whether it's gambling on sports or like table games blackjack yeah. poker whatever the the satisfaction of winning the rush of winning pales in comparison to the loss like when I lose money on that I'm like oh, you're so fucking stupid what are you yeah. doing and when I win I'm like okay cool but yeah, that's, you know I'm the these same guys, it's like love it. I I don't like I don't even I've won one uh, excuse me yeah won yeah I've been saying it wrong they told me <laughs> your whole life I know idiot. my whole fucking life. <laughs> No one told me. What the fuck? I won. I won the game. Yeah. You just you didn't realize you sounded like a moron? Everybody else says it too, <laughs> except for a couple dipshits and you. Won? Yes. Won? No, yes. they do not. Yes, they do. No. Uh, okay, I'll send you a supercut of like 30 uh -oh. people saying won. Saying won? Yes. Won. Who won? Like Juan I Gonzalez won. or won no, no, no. the game? Not Juan Gonzalez. I won the game. <laughs> and who won the fight? I, 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 I still think you guys you, are you fucking with me. You pay these people off if you have 30 people who say it. I mean, listen, I just, I don't buy it, but I'm just going with it because you guys are being dicks. So. How do you say, uh, the video games, the Italian plumber, Brothers Luigi, how do you say that? The Mario Brothers? Say Mario, yeah, I mean, I just get so much What do you say? Oh, you say heat. Mario? I say Mario. Yeah, that's some like Northeastern. The end of the world. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I think it's like specifically New York and New Jersey because there's even Northeastern people who just lose their goddamn minds over it. Over Mario? Yeah. yeah oh, they, just sound, I mean, you sound it like, like poison. You don't just sound Northeastern. You just sound really white. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Mario? Yeah, Mario. Is, you're like, this guy has never met somebody from even like Puerto Rico. Like he's. Well, that's the thing. You guys are running around saying it like you're fucking Italian. Hey, Mario. Uh, yeah, they say that. They're like, they're like, Mario, he even says that in the beginning of the game. It's a me, Mario. I'm like, yeah, because he's an Italian. Exactly. You're not a. Fucking adapt, Kevin. Jesus. You adapt, Juan. If Juan. you start saying Juan, I'll start saying Mario. Okay. Well, I. Um, Deal? I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. I'm saying <laughs> I've Juan. Uh, I've Juan money before gambling. And it is kind of exciting. But it really pisses me off to lose. But also, to lose, it's the man. I don't like. I'm just glad. You know, you said you have a lot of. I, I have a lot of vices. That's one where it just hasn't. It didn't. It never grabbed me. But Jesus Christ, is it popular <laughs> to gamble? I didn't ah. realize like, everybody is all about gambling. I mean, the the one of the last time I was such an asshole to do this that I um, my friend's father was the head coach of the Tar Heels in the football team. Okay. Okay. John Bunting was his name. Is his name. He's not dead. Yeah, he's and, not dead. <laughs> uh, so I was with his son, Brooks, and we're in Vegas. And we go, it's a Saturday. And his dad is actively the, the head coach. And the, they were playing FSU, which is I'm a fan of. So I was like, yeah. oh, what's the spread? FSU was favored by 33. And I was like, I'll take the Knowles. He's like, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and so I, I put like 100 bucks on him or something. And they covered the spread until the last five seconds. Uh, Carolina kicked a meaningless field goal, and I lost. And see, I was that's upset. The stuff that would drive me bananas. Yeah. I can't when I when I watch these guys go through their bad beats. I'm like, it, it just I, that would that would ruin my month. You know, when yeah. you see, especially you know they're betting on college basketball now, and it's like your rent lies in the hands of this like 19 year old kid off Come the bench on. who's got to hit two free throws. I like, mean, you gotta be kidding me. Well, but they, I mean, here's the thing they're, about they're always, it. always, I never, ever, ever, ever would have predicted that Ohio State would have taken uh, Clemson to the woodshed in that, uh, like, never. If you'd ask, I'd be like, why no, it's you're gambling, crazy, brother. Man. You're crazy. I mean, you, uh, you think you know what you're talking about. Exactly. Like, there's a reason why Vegas always wins. Yeah. But I will say this I, as I've gotten older and I get kids and responsibility and shit, 
my like the amount of sports that I can consume and spend like my time on really starts to kind of dwindle. Like yes. I'm, I'm like a diehard Mets fan, so I I the Mets I still give my attention to. And then football, pro football is like I can give one day a week, I can do that. Yeah. But I used to love college basketball. I mean, yeah. I would uh, the tournament, I would take off of work. Whoa, whoa, I would whoa, plan the what? My, the what? What do you say? The tournament? Of course. That's how you say the, the fucking tournament. word, dumb shit. There's an O in there. Tour. When, let me get, when, when, do you say, do you take a tour of a place? T-O-U-R. Tour. I go I go on tour every year doing stand-up. On tour. Get yes. out of here. <laughs> do not say that, you dick. Uh, but I, I guess if I, you know, when you gamble, uh, you know, you just, you, you, you keep that interest and you keep yeah. Like, yeah that Yeah, but I'm love. with you, though. It cannot keep the interest on all the sports anymore. It's fucking way no. too. And there's also I, just way too much of everything, like the content, entertainment, just you're just being hit for all, and then you have we have kids and you have a career you're like mm -hmm. dude i can't consume all of it i can't and 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 there's good content like with all the streaming services and the rise of live podcasts and all all the shit it's like uh, i used to just sit there and tune into a random college basketball game that yes. I, I don't i didn't go to the school i'm not gambling but what else am i going to watch yeah now it's like you got you know a lot of different options if you're not an alma mater and you don't bet it's like why I'm i don't really you. have that deep of an interest i loved college basketball i think Middle school, high school, even through college, a little bit out of it. I was really into following college basketball. Um, college football, I've it's still managed to maintain my interest mostly, you know. Mm -hmm. But I have mm -hmm. found there's a direct correlate. I don't know if you, well, you might not find the same, like, with the teams you're a fan of. But, like, as somebody who I've, I realize I'm a big FSU fan as a kid, yeah. but they're dominant, right? And then yes. once, since they've taken a dip, my interest in the sport diminishes, not just right. in them. I just go like, well, oh. because when you watch, you, if you watch your team, you're also just paying attention to, to, the, yes. to the teams in the division and yeah. the conference. And, yep. and yeah, when that, that, when that disappears, that's been like the Knicks for me. Right. I mean, the, the Knicks, Knicks and the, you're a Jets fan. I'm the worst. I got, I'm a Mets, Jets, Knicks fan. Jesus Christ. Like my life has been miserable uh, as a sports fan and pretty much just in general, but the <laughs> Knicks specifically, like they got so bad. The Mets, I'd still watch every year. The Jets, like I said, one day a week I can I can do. But Dolan and the Knicks, James Dolan ruined that fucking team so bad that I was like, yeah, I can't what, in good conscience donate my time to this anymore. What is going on? I mean, I just realized I saw, I, you know, the famous um, Oakley, like, toss, the mm -hmm. Charles Oakley thing that was like, it was horrible to watch. Ridiculous. And yep. ridiculous. And then just recently, Ewing was like, hey, I got stopped mm -hmm. by security. He's like, I'm fucking Patrick Ewing. <laughs> like, In the insane. garden, man. He's like, I can't yeah. walk through here. That's That one was like for him to even share that on mic, you know, because he could have been yeah. like, but he was oh, like, they're, they're fed up. That. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are fed up. They've always been treated that way. And it's like. I, I almost I think that was more of a shot, you know. Like if some if there's some new young security guard, sure. Let's be honest, Patrick Ewing played, you know, like twenty fucking sure. Years it's, ago. It it's must like, be a random seven foot black guy here today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we They're see those everywhere. all the time. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, the, the it's it's more about like the management and the way they've been treated and the way he ran that organization. It's like I'm just not. I just could not. I root for. I watch a lot of losers. I stick by a lot of losing teams. Yeah. And the Knicks, I couldn't do it. And then, it, and then in in turn, it was like I don't know, I don't know what's going on anymore because I'm just not watching my team, and in turn, everybody else. So you lose a lot of that interest. But man, I watched some of these guys like when this when this deal that we that Barstool had with Penn went through, uh, it it would have paid to gamble as much money as I may have lost in, yeah. in years gone by if I was part of like the gambling side of things here at Barstool. I'd probably be doing uh, pretty good right now. Damn. Well, let's fucking get yeah. into it. Start a new habit, man. I, you know, <laughs> believe me, I thought about it, but you can sniff you can sniff that out a mile away, yeah. man. When you got people who are like, "Oh, I, I, you know, I bet, I bet three units on the spread, man." It's like <laughs> you're, you're like, "What the fuck?" You don't you? know what the fuck you don't you're know talking what you're about. talking about. And, yeah, and that's and a good I, thing. I can appreciate. Yeah, yeah, right. Stay that like it's like stay Billy that. Madison, like yeah. stay here forever. Yeah. So I didn't even try to fake it, dude. It is fascinating, like when you like sports, like we do, and and you follow. You know, just the the whole the the environment of sports and, and teams in general, and you see a team suck for an extended period of time, Ever. and you're like, how is this even? Because again, I mean, I go back to the Knicks that we grew up with, and you're looking at those teams like Starks and Oak and and Ewing, and you're like, mm -hmm. these guys would fuck people up, like not just on mm -hmm. the scoreboard, 
on the court. Physically like they beat would, the shit. They would out break of you. people's ribs. Every including Hell like yeah. the bulls that everybody loved. They would fuck them up, man. Yeah, and, man. And then you kind of go like, what? Like, why can't they be good? I mean, for me, you know, I was born in Cincinnati, and when I left Cincinnati as a kid, it was the '88, the year they went to the Super Bowl. So as a kid, I was mm -hmm. like, well, this is a great team and a great organization. Gonna ride and, this forever. Yeah, this will be yeah. like a regular thing. And it is yep. one of the worst organizations in all of pro sports. And you can mm -hmm. attribute it, to, like you said, management to the owner, you know, to Mike Brown. It's Always. like, he, people don't realize who don't know, like when they go, I guess they just suck. But one of the, like the reason they suck is that he is a just, you know, red, black, looking at his accounting kind of person that goes, Always. oh, I get this. Just makes for money. The, mm -hmm. yeah, we're already selling, like the stadium's already full. I'm not going to spend money on signing all this and that. Like, just The winning franchises almost like always lose money. Yeah. Until they I mean, want to that, win. But, but, they want and to then, win. But then also, by the way, like once you do win, the amount of money you make in playoff exactly. games, the amount of money you make in merch, it all will come back it all to comes you. Back. But you do have to take, you know, it's an investment. That's well, he why, also pays you know, himself. He's, the, he's also the president of the team mm -hmm. and he pays mm -hmm. himself. 35 million a year <laughs> to at that point why not why like why not 40 what, 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 yeah, what makes you even stop at 35 i make a hundred million dollars a year he must Fuck you guys. lose his mind when some when an agent suggests that a player get paid more than him. <laughs> like when a quarterback is about he's like are you crazy that'd be more than me and i run I'm the owner thing. i make yeah. all this shit I, I i mean i i always say if i could be an owner i would be one of those guys who like just blows it all on winning and i and i really yeah. do think i would be but I don't know. Maybe maybe when you when you all right, like here it is. The franchise is yours, yeah. and you've got a choice to lose money or make thirty five million. Maybe you're just like, I don't know. Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. get the bag. Maybe, but I really man. feel like it's so short sighted. It is. will come back to you. Watch him fuck up Burroughs. Watch him like just ruin that. That I would the promise. I would get the, the hell talent. out of there if I was. Him. Yeah, he should yeah. be like, I think nothing works. I can't move at all anymore. And then like, <laughs> oh, it all works again later. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah it's fucking. It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it, 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 go ahead. Do you think, because we were talking about, um, you said you watch, you know, watch a streamer or whatever. Do you realize that, remember how cable was, oh, you can get like ESPN and HBO. And then mm -hmm. over like a decade, you know, it became a thousand channels and then cable bills became like $380. Yeah. And you're like, wow. Yep. And that for a minute we were all just like, oh, I guess there's Netflix. Oh wait, there's Hulu and Amazon. And now it's going to be Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Warner, Paramount Plus. Yeah, and everyone's going to have a three hundred and fifty dollars streaming fee like every month. There, there was like a six month window where like we gamed the system, where it was like I cut the cord yeah. and I. What well, once I remember people cutting the cord years ago, and I was like, it was only like hipsters in Brooklyn who were like, I don't need sports and I don't yeah. need like the news. Like if you wanted any sort of live television, you couldn't cut the cord. But then they figured that out, and it was like, all right, we're good for like two minutes, yeah. and then it ev everything. It's just like you're paying for every channel yeah. on cable is basically what it is. And you know what? I'm gonna pay for fucking all of them, of course, because every channel, every streaming service has at least one show or series that I need to have, yeah. and I'll pay it. And then I could cancel it, but I'm not gonna. Never gonna. And you know what? The one thing I can't do is, and I wonder if you're this way as a sports fan, uh, if you do YouTube TV. You really, and then you're streaming whatever you want streaming. Mm -hmm. You really can get like everything you need, mm -hmm. and and YouTube TV is like, I think like eighty bucks yeah. a month. It's yeah. pretty low. Yeah. There's there's a fifteen second delay on sports, That's, and I just can't. You can't deal like, with we, that. The, well, the, we we're like on Twitter. Oh yeah, and you're like saying reacting the, yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and I but I but it's like yes I can. So it's like the second commercial, that. and you're but like I, fumble, and they're like yeah asshole we know. It was a while exactly ago. Exactly yeah. that. But I'm like, is is just live tweeting really worth like another couple hundred dollars a month? But just the peace of mind of when I'm like, home run. And they're like, yeah, we're done, dickhead. We, we already yeah. celebrated that, you moron. Yeah. Yeah. So instead, I just continue to pay all of it. But that delay fucking kills me. Do you get anxiety? Look, at my yes, routine, period. Stop. Yes, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> my routine at night is, you know, the kids go down. I go to the room. Christina and I maybe watch something. She go. She always goes to bed way before me. So then it's yeah. I. I go on a search of for what to watch, and right. as these streamers start keep growing, I'm like, fuck, what do I watch? And I'll spend sometimes like forty minutes looking, looking. for the thing to watch. I know, and it really. And then they. Have you ever done the the Netflix uh, like, uh, 
uh, randomizer thing. Like, there's a thing at the bottom that it'll just it'll just pick something out for you. No. And and I feel like it that should like solve my problems. And it like never it never hits. I'm always like, I don't want to watch this. Yeah, but, yeah, I don't want to. But yeah, man, that, that that over. It's like going to the Cheesecake Factory. You open up that menu, man. It's too much shit. Yeah. It's like it's I get overwhelmed. Much. There's too many options. Yeah. It's and like, then I watched. I watched a few things in Spanish, so now my al- my algorithm is like, oh, you want to oh, watch telenovelas fun. and stuff? And I'm like, no. God yeah, you watched what that uh, that zero 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 show, right? You love that, wasn't that about like the Spanish drug trade or something? That's so fucking good. That's one of the yeah, best I, shows I, I've I, ever seen. You were the one who put me onto that. I haven't watched it yet. But it's on Amazon I hadn't Prime. Heard anything about it? Except you were like, it's the best thing I've ever seen. Well, it was a report. The reportedly they sp- had a hundred and sixty million dollar budget for this. Wow. Eight episodes Bezos only. Bezos money, man. Jeff Bezos. He's like, Amazon sell a brick, money. let's make a show. And <laughs> yeah. he fucking spent the money. They shot this show in uh, New Orleans, Mexico, Calabria, Italy, Senegal, Morocco. It has full, like, full character storyline development in each fucking place that they shoot it in. And it's wow. an elaborate, just like, crime saga. It's one, and that's it's, the one. The, the very first episode is the dude like in the bunker, right? Like in Italy. Am I thinking of the right thing? Because I think I watched like the premiere that, episode. I don't know. And the old guy that, yeah, comes yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Right? That's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, I don't know did, if that's episode just, one, but that's definitely in the show. Yes. It has like a, a feel. You know when you you put on a show and you can tell whether they, they well, put money into did it. Did you and see it's the Gamora? Real deal. Uh, I I I watched part of that. Yes, the I don't guy think I ever, that like, created it. that created this. Rid of this, yeah. yeah. And you can tell that he's the real deal. Like he's, he's the real deal. Real they have shit. a price on his head. The Calabrian Mafia is like, kill this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> I <Yes>. bet. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exposing all the secrets, They're man. Like, yeah. Get him out of here. So, yeah. He's, yeah. he's definitely, he lives that life, man, <laughs> as a writer producer. <laughs> producer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. It's like, I always think like when I, when I see uh, guys who like write a movie script that's like a deep, intricate criminal mastermind thing i'm like just go do that yeah that's man. a fucking awesome idea when i watch inside man with clive alwyn where they like stay inside you know you ever see that movie yeah like yes. lives inside the bank until after hours i'm like you should have just done that Dude, it would have worked <laughs> did you see that clive owen movie somebody put me onto this that's like 10 years old and go to imdb there uh type, yeah type his name imdb the one with the kids the weird kid movie no this is a um weird. This is like an international, it's, it might be even called that. Uh, is it called the international? It's so fucking, the, no. Scroll. Um, man, I just saw this and it's, there it is, the international. That is what it's called. The international. Have you seen this movie? No, what is it? Bro, this is like I I have. a Bourne-esque, you know, like type. Yeah. And it's it's inter it's international, but they have a fucking shootout scene inside. I think, uh, MoMA, like for real in Manhattan. Uh-huh. That is, it's unbelievable, man. It's it's one of the How, best shootout I've never scenes. Seen this. I hadn't seen it either. A friend of mine told me he's like, oh, I know you like thrillers and stuff. Have you seen this? So I go to check it out. I think it's also on Prime. And I was I was like, this movie is is pretty fucking unbelievable. It's Dude, really this movie good. made twenty five million bucks. It total. bombed. It wow. bombed. But it's it's That's it's a good movie. I, I promise you, it's a good movie. And like when it came out in '09, maybe it was because you fucking fucked up everybody's money. I ruined the country. <laughs> and and yeah, you I, led I'm to down. the international bombing. <laughs> like like Clive Owen, I need to apologize to him. To, like he's sitting there going, "These fucking accountants ruined my my box office premiere." Absolutely, you did. Blame <laughs> Kevin. Two of the best um, shootout scenes I've ever seen are in that movie. I promise you. Really? Yes. I watched uh, the new Marvel thing, uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Do you yeah. know the Marvel stuff at all? The I mean, the opening I w- scene of that yeah. is, I'm I'm kind of the same way. Like I watch them, but I'm I'm not. It's weird. When I was a kid, I was into that shit. You would think I would have thought that I would have been like a diehard Marvel fan. Yeah. And that would have paid too, by the way, if I stuck with that. If I if I kept playing video games. Yeah. And I kept fucking smoking weed. And you kept and, gambling. And I and I I should have picked up gambling, and I would be rich right now, man. Yeah. Uh, but but the the opening scene of Falcon and the Winter Soldier is like, it was like a ten minute action scene that I found when it ended. I was like, holy! Shit. I didn't realize I was like dialed into. You really, thing. yeah. I mean, I feel like that stuff is. Um, I appreciate what they do, like the like how they put them together, and you're like, this is an elaborate yeah. production and everything right. that goes into it. 
I just, I don't emotionally invest in it because I'm with you, you know, it's just not of like of interest to that level for me, you know? So I know yeah, I it's like, and it, and it is formulaic. It is what I think is interesting is to do what 18 movies, 20 movies that all like yeah. intertwine and turn into this one. I mean, that's gotta be insane. Yeah. But yeah, to me, it's always, you know, we listen, we know how comic book works. You know, we know yeah. the good guy, the bad guy, we know what's going to happen I mean, here on the road. You know, a lot of times, you have days to kill and you, you do yeah. whatever and you're like, let's go see a movie. We see a lot of movies either mm -hmm. during the day or sometimes late night. Some of the cities have like the late night showings and we'll go you right. know, when we're on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so sure. I've seen I've seen them on there. Like I remember I saw this uh Spider Man one that I was like, People like this? Like <laughs> it was like it was one of the more recent ones. And it was yeah, uh, maybe it was that I don't know. I was like, This is so fucking dumb. And it made like a billion dollars. Bro, and you say that out loud. It's yeah, like people when you get got, mad. when you when you mix it up with the wrestling crowd, like you, yeah. you say you don't like these certain yeah. things and all of a sudden you're in like the trenches, the war of your life. I really learned my lesson though with uh, <laughs> the wrestling crowd because I didn't appreciate how talented those guys are. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't give a <laughs> I, fuck I don't about a those fuck. guys. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was a couple people told me they're friends with wrestlers and that I hurt their feelings. Oh, Jesus fucking And Christ. I was like, God, get new friends, dude. <laughs> like, bro, your your the re your friends, your wrestlers, they don't have feelings. Yeah. Okay, they have CTE. That's yeah. it. Their brains You're, have been matched in. There are no feelings to be had. You mean that the and I like wrestling. The human growth <laughs> hormone got to his tears. Sorry. Um, are you uh, are you following this? I shouldn't laugh. Are you following this Deshaun Watson story? Bro, I mean, I'm following it because I I had hopes that the Jets were gonna make a move for him. Hmm. They might get some fucking baby oil, massage a little uh, asshole. <laughs> that would be like a Jets thing to do. Like, well, we can get headlines, good or bad, whatever. Headlines, go get them. His anus. I mean, his anus. <sighs> he wanted the inside of his anus massaged, which is like, I only, I have to say, it is cool when someone knows what they like. Hey, but, you, you know, he's about it. He's not afraid. But now it's like, I think the people are accusing him of assault, which really changes the, um, it's not like, hey, will you no. do this to me? Right. And also there's so many girls, right? I mean, yeah. Like they're, like on like this, the third day of it, I remember there were like nine more girls come forward. I'm like, holy shit. And then other guys being like Big D told me, like Big D sent me. So it's like, it's, it's yeah, like a that whole first network. One. I'm like, oh so shit. So the lawsuit now has 14 as of the recording of this and 24 accusers. I mean, that's a... St 24? 24. That's what it's up to. Uh, I don't think I remember like, even claims. known 24 girls. I mean, Jesus Christ. You don't even know 24 <laughs> girls. I got to be <laughs> honest. I don't think I know... I don't know 12 girls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is crazy. And like, I mean, he's, he's you know, it was probably going to be on the move. And, you know, this was his time to get out of Houston and like make a name and like... Uh no, your name has been made, bro, and you're the guy who likes to get girls to massage your butthole. Your butthole. Fuck, man. How do you how do you even find out you like that? I guess I mean, I could I could see how you find out that you like your ass touch, but if you're like, I need you to massage the inside massage of the my inside asshole. of my asshole. Yeah. But that's because these dudes, man, you know, they it's like they've run through absolutely everything there is to do. What if it's you Davo know, they, Sweeney that taught him that, you know? <laughs> what if <laughs> Pick that up at Clemson. Yeah, that's what they do on the recruiting trips. They're like, do you want to come play ball here, son? And they're like, what do you mean? He's like, like, we got these girls. They will massage the inside of your, your asshole, asshole, dude. Come on out for that in Alabama. Sign me come up, Come to coach. Clemson. Yeah, I would Jesus. definitely. I would go. Yeah, but this is like, <laughs> this is, this could be like a career-ending story. I mean, if you are if you were ready to, to make a move for him, it's like, I, I don't know. If, if you were a, a team who needed a quarterback, and now let's say you maybe you can get him at a far less price because of this. As, uh, assuming assuming that there is like you know if he's if he's like yes, if we should be clear illegal and he's assault he's going to fucking jail yeah. then like whatever. and these are also if these are currently accusations right right and yeah. and so if it just turns out that it's you know allegedly or bottom line if he could still play you know would, do you take that on like that with all that comes with it all the media attention all the negativity yeah. all of the you know you are not you're you're part of the problem. I mean, any team that like, n I want him, and I'm gonna 
reward him with a ton of fucking money yeah. is going to catch it right now. Oh, yeah. And you think you know, about Even if fact- it's not proven guilty, it's going to be like, oh. well, there's enough accusations that, you know, you are condoning this guy's lifestyle. I mean, you know thanks. how brutal it must be. I mean, first of all, like you said, if if he is guilty of this, you're going to go to jail. Like if you're assaulting right. people. If he's not, if he's if he is not, how brutal it'll be just to be him on the road, like oh. going to games or what? Like this will be a you manage, uh, dude. Can you imagine like in the you're lining up? Yeah, like you know you I'm got a defensive your asshole, line, man. Look, like yeah, yeah. Across, yeah, I'm gonna get in that asshole right yeah. now, boy. Like you, I know I you mean, like that shit. Yep. Yeah, yep. the shit talking. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna dude. be brutal, man. I mean, uh, we were actually just talking about Kevin Garnett the other day, like the, the shit he used to talk. Like oh when he, my god! When he was talking shit to Tim Duncan on Mother's Day, and Tim he, Duncan's mother was dead, <laughs> like uh, when he told when he told Carmelo that Lala tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios, like brutal shit brutal. to guys that I'm pretty sure he's like friends with. Yeah. So I can't imagine what he's saying to his enemies. Oh man! And him, then him, you take uh, to put him on in, the football field clothes? with these like guys who are oh my juiced god, to the gills dude. and are basically like modern day gladiators. Yeah. Like, oh, and they're total. And they're also mouth. like, I don't care if I die at 38. You know. Oh fuck! Oh, did you freeze? Yep, I think it's a network connection. Let's just wait a second and see if he comes back. Okay, we were just we were just talking about Deshaun Watson's asshole when your <laughs> internet froze. Internet and cut um out. and oh Garnett, that's what we were talking about Garnett too. Yeah, uh, the biggest shit talker ever, man. Dude, there is a clip of him. Uh, you can search for it. Sitting courtside in street clothes, like just because he's injured, talking yeah. shit to uh somebody like some sm- like not big name guy shooting it is like yeah. it is so loud oh so, it's so <laughs> it's so brutal <laughs> yeah. calling him trash like you trash yeah. like just yelling it to him and you're like god damn you're that like player. that's you're another like, grown man like yeah. another another man who made it to the pinnacle he's in the top oh 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 one percent of humans yeah and <laughs> kevin garnett's just like you're a fucking loser you're a loser yeah i mean that's <laughs> what everybody nobody. said um about Jordan, you know, was like just so mean, so mean. That, uh, who was the dude on on the Last Dance that he that he just like picked out, you know, some like scrub on the Pistons or whoever it was on the or on like the Cavs, I think. Oh yeah, just like abused him, you know, like yeah. And every time they played, because because he made the guy made up some story, right? He's like, yeah, one time I got you know, the best. The guy the that of made him up, that made up the story, was Jordan. Jordan made up the story. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's yeah. what it was. Jordan I just was like, that guy motivation. disrespected me, and everyone was like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> Sociopathic shit, man. Yeah. It's like, but it's funny. It really is just next level. Uh, I did a podcast with uh, Tony Gonzalez, you know, yeah. here, and yeah. and um, I was talking to him about like you know motivation. He was he said he would take note cards and write like you're too old, like you ain't shit anymore, mm-hmm. like things that people were saying. He would put them in his locker like pregame, you know, just to motivate himself. I I feel like I. You know, I almost like wish I could do that to myself. I'd yeah, like, we can. You, you know, know like we just start I, I put, texting each other. <laughs> you're an I, old piece of like, shit, man. Like I could, I put up a card and be like, "You're not funny." I'd be like, "Well, you know, that's just one man's opinion. Whatever, dude." Yeah. Like I don't even know if it would motivate. Yeah, I don't know either. I was like, if, <laughs> if I left myself a note that said, "You're not funny," I could just open my fucking phone and find somebody else writing me that note. Right. So. <laughs> exactly. I'm man. good, man. Thanks. I I wish I yeah that level of like pride and ego and and like dedication it's like yeah i don't, I don't know it's not for me <laughs> no that that uh, that also like you there has to be something that really triggers you to want to dominate in that way the way the athletes yeah. do you know like yeah. it can't just be like i like this sport and i want to do right. well but, i want money i want you know you know it has to be like a uh truly deep within like it's, a, you have to have like you have to have like mental issues yeah to be it's trauma like you have to be, you're traumatized yes yeah yeah i mean well, even like a, a tiger is like the, the the poster child for it where it's like absolutely weird daddy issues and like never has anybody been physically the one while mentally not the one you know like that was a guy who physically could be the greatest of all time and mentally like could not handle it that story of him in the club with jordan and barkley where he didn't know how to talk to the girls i don't know that story was, so he's, he's, it's when he was like flying to Vegas and uh, it's him, Jordan and Barkley, I think. Maybe one other of like, you know, their degenerate crew. And these girls are coming up to like their VIP section uh-huh. and he goes, I, I don't know, like, I don't know what to say to these girls. What, what, what do you say to them? And Jordan, Jordan was like, 
what do you mean? You tell them I'm Tiger Woods. Like yeah. that's it. Yeah. Like yeah. you're just be you, dude. Yeah. And and like that just you know he was he was so uncomfortable being like that level of 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 the guy. I would be so it. good at this. I would be oh, so the good best. at it. The best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would need no no advice. <laughs> Like, just do the exact do do opposite the of everything I've done. About? <laughs> right. Like, I've daydreamed about this my whole fucking life, man. If you gave me the opportunity, I would know exactly what to do. It <laughs> makes sense, though. Because, like, now you can tell. Now you can tell when you, when you see him and the way he talks. You're like, oh, he's co more comfortable in, with himself in the, and in the limelight and all, you know, all these yeah. years later. But you right. go back to his, like... 20s you're like this dude's a fucking nerd man he's just a right. nerd he's a well because he's he's comfortable now because he's honest yeah like, yeah his, his shit's on the table when right. you're hiding a secret but it's, it's he just... was also just a nerd ass motherfucker yes. like playing right. golf all day and making sure he gets his good grades and then you know eldrick like, yeah come on mm -hmm. bro you're a fucking dork that's why you're not on yeah, to chicks seriously like I, he is Physically should have been like another Jordan, but yeah. mentally he was it's just like so the, the dork in the country club. To be like, hey, Michael Jordan, how do I talk to these girls? The He's girls, like, say what? Like they, they must have been <laughs> like, pull your dick you know, out, off man. On the Watch side. what happens. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They must have just been on the side, being like, oh my god, this guy sucks. Oh yeah. He's totally bringing down the vibe. Get rid of him, man. Such a vibe killer, man. <laughs> Especially like when they would have been going out, he would have been like. 25 like so prime much time yeah and they right. would have been like you're a fucking 25 year old like world dominating athlete chill i would fuck love out. to their first impression because they probably thought he was going to roll up and be like oh, yeah. another one of the gang yeah, you know totally and you're like this is the f this is the fucking guy yeah can't this even guy? talk to a girl like hello what yeah <laughs> even even the fact that the girl rachel you could tell was like the the she like managed the club. Uh -huh. So rather than like go get the other girls in the club, he was talking to the one girl who like had to talk to him. Right. You know what I mean? It yeah, almost yeah. makes sense that that's the one he linked up with because like, well, she's being nice to me. Are so are you who I spoke with on the phone? I'd like to continue <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> right. You're worth a billion dollars, Jesus, man. Jesus, man. Yeah. Crazy. You could be lounge waiters. Man. You could be walking in sweatpants and they'll still fucking take out, take you out. <laughs> Seriously. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I bet Barkley Jordan in their prime with ladies was ridiculous. This is just pre social media. Imagine like the dominant free. athletes of like the eighties, nineties, right before shit really people start pulling like before cameras, you know, were in your pocket, had to be insane. Insane. Man. I I, I, the amount of, even forget about the girls, just like the gambling that they did. Like oh, the, yeah. You, you hear stories of like, I'll bet you, you know, $500,000 the next car that comes around the corner is a white car. Or so I'll nuts. bet black, like, and things yeah. like that that would they have would been do caught that on shit. camera. That's so right. wild, man. Yeah. I it, bet you that the next person that walks in has long hair. And if not, I'll give you a tiger. And you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. I got to get you a tiger. Right. That's crazy. Yeah, those guys, I mean, like Jordan, Jordan, when they when they played the last dance, he was like, Yo, you guys are gonna think I'm an asshole. And it's like, no, we didn't, because you had you had final say in like everything that went out there. You looked like squeaky clean almost. But if I think if people know knew the real MJ, if he was in the era with cell phones and all that shit, oh I think he would have been the the biggest villain of villains. Sure. Like But don't you think he would have still anything. just I mean Definitely. he wouldn't have been <laughs> as beloved because he was beloved, like it transcended even sports fans. But yeah. But I think people who love sports and competition would have been like, that's goddamn right. He's still the fucking man. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah he's right. an asshole, but he's dominant. And that's of course. What, yeah. He's supposed to be an asshole. Like, you of have course. to be an asshole. But yeah, those guys and everybody from entertainers, like singers, all that shit, the people who were alive cooking back when there wasn't social media. Yeah. Oh. That's why I can't believe even when you see like, uh, like Justin Bieber gets in trouble or whatever, it's like... He's getting into a fraction of the trouble he should be getting into. Yeah, because he he's an 18 year old with 150 million dollars. Yeah, who looks like he looks. Who knows how it's to a manage miracle he hasn't, that? Yeah, how like, do you manage killed that? a kid? You know, I'm surprised he's not just like a murderer at this point. Yeah, he could do anything. Yeah, how, how are you supposed to control that? Are you supposed to keep that in check? That would be Impossible. so awesome if a pop star became a murderer. <sighs> Imagine that, if it were like a country singer or something. Yeah, man. I I mean, because that was a while. Like, it was so wild to really like learn and 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 understand the layers and the depth of like the Aaron Hernandez like I still go like you mean to tell me that a guy 
who was like a national championship level player. And then in the end of the Super Bowl, he's like, he won a Super Bowl, right? Wasn't he on the team for a Super Bowl or no? Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. So. Or it's, maybe it was the 18 and one team, but either way, he maybe. was on like a but, bomb um, squad. He's a pro Patriots bowl team. player. He's like, I kill people sometimes. <laughs> I kill, I kill Four people, a lot of people. Least. Jesus I Christ. Kill, <laughs> I kill at like on a whim. Yeah. I don't like the way you look at me. I will fucking kill he was you. like, this dude looked at me so fucked up at that club. We have to murder him. It's, and then just like leave the body like two feet away from my yeah. house with like the gun and like a note saying I did it. I mean, yeah. he's the worst murderer the worst, of all time. The worst. I mean, you can of tell that, time. that's the proof of the CTE is like, look how bad he was at covering this up. So we did a, uh, a, a punting challenge with Zoltan Mesko, who used to punt for the Patriots. Uh-huh. So we all went out there and he, like on a, a football field and... Uh, near, near, like in New England. It's crazy was, to watch a pro punt, isn't it? It is insane. <laughs> have you tried to catch him? I mean, it's no, it's, it's impossible. Like Hundred feet I'm in not, the air. Yeah, I, I am certainly not, you know, an athlete, so I I'm not the best barometer. But I was like, I was like, I had before we did the challenge, I had a couple friends kick him to me, and I was like, all right, I I can do this. And then this dude kicked it no less than like eight times as high, and it was like. A, it became like a speck in the sky. Yeah. I was like, nope. And, you know, we had no pads or anything either. So I was like, the last thing I want to do is take one off the face here. Oh. So I was like, uh, uh, yeah. no, I'm good. But uh, the day we were doing it was the day it all popped off. So there's helicopters. It was that day? Like the day that they were like, I think when he, didn't he do some sort of OJ almost where he was like trying to yeah. drive away? Well, so there was like helicopters in the sky. Yeah, where they were like tracking him or whatever it was, mm-hmm. and and Zoltan Mesko was a part of that team, uh, and he was like, oh oh yeah, he did it. Like when, <laughs> that when day he, he when said he, it. <laughs> yes, like when when he when we heard of all the allegations, he was like, hundred percent that guy did it. He said it was he was a dude who like he put the music on in the locker room and like that's the music that was on. Nobody would be like, yo, turn that shit off. Put the like what Aaron wants, Aaron is gonna get because otherwise. He will kill you. Yeah. So he said, like the locker room had no, there was no surprise there when they found well, out. Well, they that also that was what was going people on. said that like he had. It's weird because usually you know, on a team like that, on a pro, on a pro football team, a player has you know is a teammate obviously, but has his like group that he hangs. You know, like mm-hmm. like, like a D, yeah, the you... DBs might hang together or guys that went to like a certain school or conference. Mm-hmm. You know, position players and they're like he didn't have any friends. It's so no. weird. To be, yeah, he was a weird, weird cat. Did you watch that documentary on him? I did. That Netflix did. Yeah, I thought that I was a, that was kind of a weird one. It, that just felt like that that one dude from high school who was just desperate to tell the world that they hooked up. Yeah, I mean like, that was strange, strange. But I don't like. There's a the thing when you watch anything like that where you go, do I believe? You know, is it, do I believe this yeah. person? I watched it. I didn't. I mean, of course he could be lying. I it, it seemed to me that I I believed him. I believe he was. It was. Me. It was certainly plausible. Yeah. It was. Just, it just felt like they brought his dad in. It was just like, yeah, we were banging. We were. We were totally yeah. banging. We, yeah. And he's like, and my son. My son fucks guys, and I think it's pretty cool now. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's really strange. But I mean, that would make sense if that was where like his ego and pride and all that shit came from. But, uh, but yeah, he just murdered the fuck out of people. Man, that when that when his when his fiance took the stand. And then took his side like unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. That was some of the most ride or die shit. Oh, it's ever. super ride or die. She yeah. walked out. Of, she walked out of the, of the courtroom like winking, like. Yeah. And the fucking prosecutor was like, "What the yeah. hell was that?" And I mean, he was like, "That was straight out of a movie." He was man. like, "You're gonna get my pension. Don't even win. Yeah. It's definitely gonna work out." Oh man, look at him. It's it's just. He was a fucking specimen, man. He was a freak. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, talk about throwing it away. His, just I know. Like just don't. Murder people, man! Just like stop. you can still even be about that life. If it was me, if I was one of those guys, I would get out of the old neighborhood. I would cut ties with people. I would remove myself. But you can still do some of that. Just don't do the murdering. You don't murder. How about just stop the murder. And where's where's one friend? Just one to be like, hey one. man, you know how we're about to go murder someone? Let's not because let's not do that. Well, you know where he is. You got a He's great fucking thing going dead. on. Yeah. He's dead because Aaron Hernandez murdered him. Yeah, he murdered him too. Yeah. <laughs> like there was that, one, there was that no. one dude who was like, you know, I, I said this and that. He shot me in the head. <laughs> and he was a lot, that guy that, that lived through it. Yeah, so he that survived guy should it. be dead. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, <laughs> yeah, you, you always need the one dude who's like, I don't care, you know. It's that dude right there. See with the wonky eye? Below. Right? Okay, I got. Right below. I got shot. Down. There you go. That dude, he shot that guy. 
He shot that guy in the How fucking head. How about when you when you shoot someone in the head and it and they don't die? I just saw a video of this. It's like, hey, my bad. Like, yeah, I didn't mean to. Dude, I saw a video, an unsolicited video, sent to me by a friend who I then forwarded it to other people to ruin their Naturally. day. Um, yes. But it was a confrontation in the street, and a guy walks out and was like, oh yeah, shoots this lady in the head. Looks like a thirty-eight, and she's like, ah, and he's like, pop, 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 like shoots her again. Shot her like five times. And then he walks in her house and she's like pushing up off the pavement. He's like, God damn it, comes over, keeps shooting her. Oh, like, was this was this the, the shoveling incident? Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. What is oh. the story? What is so, the story? So if you watch that full video, it's like a, a doorbell camera or like a yes, security camera from right. the house across the street. Yes. So they were shoveling, and I think it was like shoveling the street and I'm throwing it onto like your sidewalk, something like that. Okay. And they get in yep. like a it's a it's a couple who gets in an argument with this guy. And they're like, the couple is like, you fucking pussy. What are you going to do about it, you <laughs> little bitch? And he comes outside and he shoots them. But then he went back inside and he got like a machine gun, like a oh. fucking, like an AR or whatever. Not a machine. Every time I say this guy, the gun people freak out. It's not a machine gun. I don't know. Right. Some big right. ass gun. If you say and he comes back automatic, and he goes, they're like, it's not an automatic. I know. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. It's something from fucking GoldenEye. It's one of those big guns, you know? Yes. And he said, you should have shut your fucking mouth. Yes. Bam. Blew her away over snow, man. It's unbelievable. So who is the man right there? Who is this guy? Oh, did he commit suicide? I, I think it was like suicide by cop after that. I think they, they I think the cops it showed up. Murder like, suicide. Okay. The, mm -hmm. It said his spade was the he shooter. Had like a family and everything. That was bad. It was bad. He had man. a family. So he he just snapped. I, I, that that might I might have made up, but it was bad. I I I've seen it all on the internet, man. We've been doing this for twelve years. He shot himself, watched including himself. Yeah. It says. Oh, good. Because yeah. he probably realized what the fuck. He's probably but like, that was... I took it too far. And then, <laughs> you know. That my, was, you know, I temper. probably should have just yelled at them. Should have just, you know, let the shoveling incident go. Oh, and so. oh, the, the neighbor said, I'll knock your ass out. That's probably when he was like, I'll show you something that'll knock oh, you really? out. Oh, really? Yeah. I know. They were running their mouth and then he, you know. That is a really good thing to show. Like, I would show this video in schools and... um. <laughs> Like sororities, be like, hey, watch your fucking mouth when you're out there. Yeah, like, some people yeah, don't so react. That, so well. that's like the, the the sixth graders, you know. Yeah. Hey kids, what'd you learn in school today? You gonna uh, well bark at someone across the street? Watch this, <laughs> Mister Segura told us, uh, keep your fucking mouth shut, or you might get shot with an AR. <laughs> but same thing, I know, I know you and Bert broke down the. Uh, the dudes in the bar, the bathroom bar fight with the UFC guys yes. just beat the shit out of them. No, no charges for those guys. No charges? Because I believe I saw that, right? I think I saw a headline that said, like, they're not going to press charges. Because I thought, listen, I know we're all rooting for those guys on the internet, but, like, that was fucked up, and you're going to get some... I think it. I think they said no charges. The, uh, yeah, none, right? Yeah, no charges for that guy. Man with... Yeah, the MMA player beat up the fucking football player. Yeah, but the more I learned about it, it kind of... It does... You're, you you do learn that the football player did provoke, right? Right. Provoke and, and I think yeah. that's what the, the you know the the court yeah. the, the judge or whatever was like. Yeah, you were an asshole and you got what you deserved. Yeah, you just. I mean, he got his shit knocked he, out. That dude was like, huh? Pop pop pop. Oh, and then yeah. That the 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 wipe and punch was like, oh. Well, I wish I could fight. We had a question the other day. If you could, uh, fight the best. Fuck the best, or like sing, like you had like a uh, singing and dancing, like you could do that the best. Mm. What would you pick? Damn, that's a really good one, man. Because I think I think where you are in your life determines. Depends. Yeah, because like my wife's gonna get what she gets now. You know, I don't need to fuck the best. <laughs> so, what am I doing? That's for her. I'm giving her another present. I just got her a car. <laughs> so, uh, I think. You know, the singing would be fucking badass. Dude, imagine if I threw a, if I did a concert right now, I do, I do stand up and I'm like, oh, I got a little something extra to close this out. And I'm like fucking, you know, I don't know, Brian McKnight up there. And people are like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> Brian McKnight. Yeah, that dude's got pipes, man. Like, who, like they would, you blow people away. I would probably take this because the fighting, it's like, I don't I mean, it's dope to be able to fight. I think about, you know, there's days where I go, I wish I was. A badass fighter, you know, or yeah. you know, it's, yeah. but like for my life, See, what does it get me to be able to? Uh, that's where I disagree. I don't okay. think I would fight, but I think being able to fight yeah. would translate into like everything. I think I'd be like a that's better good. negotiator. You're right. I think I'd be like I walk in a room 
And I'd be like, I'm not going to fight, but if shit goes down, oh, I yeah. could beat up everybody in here. Yeah. And and when I'm arguing, when I'm I think I would just be a much more confident guy if it's like if if things go primal, I will wipe my blood on you, you and need, knock you the fuck you out. You need to like you need a video out there though. Like you need people to know to know who yes. you are. That's the thing. Yes. It's not good enough to be like I'm a great fighter. You need at least like something on your phone be like, "You ever seen this shit? This is when I beat up seven guys at a bar." And yeah. people are like, "Oh, okay." Okay. Yeah, you yeah, man. you, you got to go. You pick one fight, and 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 document it. Yeah. And then you're good for the rest of your. And life. you're like, hey, just spread Put that this on around. the internet. Put this on. Yes. Yeah. Make this viral, yeah. and then everybody will know. So okay. so yeah, you go sing fucking back at one with Brian McKnight. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> and I'm gonna beat motherfuckers up. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, the thing is, I think being able to sing like that's going to lead to your fucking a lot, probably. So you got two, two out of one. You're just not good I at mean, it. I <laughs> mean, you know, really, do you care about being good at it? Yeah. Like how, I, I just don't want to be the war, like terrible exactly. at it. But if I'm okay, that's pretty much what I stri like, strive to be in life, just okay at like everything. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I mean, you only need to be like, you should try to be really good at something, at least one thing, you know? And then everything else you don't have to be good at. Just be mediocre. It's also just so goddamn hard to be good at sex. Come on. Who and it's here's like, the other thing. Anybody who says they're good at sex isn't. Like anybody right. that talks about it, you know. Terrible. Every girl that I was I, I talked about this before that like led with like how you know what I mean how sexually driven she is, always lame. You don't Yeah. Always. It's you want, like, the, you want that girl that kind of like, drools a little bit and stares at the floor? She'll fucking girl. work that you girl out. Fucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tear that dick off. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. Those girls are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that story that Bird had about the girl that he didn't realize was had Bell's uh, cerebral palsy. I mean, that's just. And then he showed up and he was like, "Are you drunk?" <laughs> <laughs> like that was deplorable, man. Yeah. He, like Bird standards, but like he said, like you just said, man, it's probably a good time. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. can't open doors with her left hand, but she was fun in the sack, dude. Oh my god, had to be so much fun. I regret not, not hooking up with more like totally disabled people. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna take back my totally. That, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> I was gonna say just more in general, but I, I probably would draw the line at handicapped. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. Handicapped. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look how fucking hot these chicks are. Who's this? What are we looking at? Oh, sorry. It's just it's chicks in wheelchairs that are hot, <laughs> and they're so hot. And here's the thing, like. <laughs> You should, like, I would... Attractive I would, disabled women yeah. is the fucking Google. <laughs> <laughs> that is They're an so hot. <laughs> that, should, that should be a podcast title. Like, welcome to another episode of Attractive Disabled Women. Yeah, that chick is a rocket. Dude, she's so hot. And here's the thing, too. It's like, ultimately... You can't run away, either. <laughs> ultimately, they know you're doing them a favor. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's the right. Thing. It's like, things really They're come to a to head. They're happy to be there. Yeah, you're like, hey... Seriously, you want me to fucking roll your ass out of here? Like, this is it. <laughs> I hooked you up. Any any girl that's that pretty who's not disabled, they're doing you the favor. Like, right. they're like, I, all right, you know, I, I, he he did take me out on a couple dates. I guess I gotta fuck this guy. And yeah. the whole time she's not enjoying it. Other way around, mm. you're you're practically a hero, man. Hero. Yeah, and everyone's like, oh, you're you know your heart. And you're like, yeah, I got a big heart. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that then other disabled girls want to bang you. Oh yeah. Eventually, eventually, maybe even a girl with legs God. wants to as well. Maybe I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna tell my son. You know what? Like when you get out there, kid, find the kid, find the girls in the wheelchair. Those are so hot. They're so hot too. I, I went, man. I fucking just thinking about this deaf girl that I um. Never mind. So <laughs> no, 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 no. You yeah. can't do that. No, I, 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 I like this girl <laughs> in college. That's all. I, I, uh -huh. liked her. I liked her. And, uh, you know, uh -huh. we, we just, she was sweet. You, she was very nice. You, you, so you had sex with the deaf girl. No, I, I didn't. I wish I had. That, that, she, that was yeah, the you thought. Wish you did. I wish I had. Right. Yeah. She was really, she was really beautiful. Really, really attractive. And why didn't you? Dude, she was always, she was with this one fucking guy that looked like a Ken doll and they, uh -huh. um, they broke up, was, and that's when I could he, could he could he hear and talk and all that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so he was like the big heart, and then uh, ugh, yeah, guys. and then they broke up for a minute, and I talked to her like a little bit, but they got back together like pretty quickly. So I just I just remembering like you know that girl. I'd have to imagine if you're a deaf girl and you got a Ken doll who can hear, who is willing to date you, and he'd probably go back to that well pretty quickly. Yeah, and and he you learned know? sign language for her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the amount of everybody was sides, like, "Fuck the amount you, of, man!" 
You are, you know, listen, if you learn sign language for a chick, you yeah. are pot committed, brother. Yeah, you, you are. better, I don't care what that girl does, you gotta marry her. Oh, Because otherwise, what a waste of fucking time that well, was. Well, imagine you break up with her and you're like, you know what? I already have sign language. I'm going to go find the next fucking hot deaf chick. I'm going to fuck see the later. hottest deaf yeah. chick you've ever seen. <laughs> and I know you can see, so you'll fucking see about it. <laughs> That's all you got. <laughs> um, you, by the way, I, I love, I forget because we, we do podcasts and, you know, they go on and on. So smart to start the one minute man because the thank you man yeah you know digestible kind of like you can just mm -hmm. watch this thing for a second. It's inspired us. We actually started the thirty second man, which is is oh, a, really yeah. Just we just like we're just gonna borrow your title. Just undercut me, undercut you sons you. of bitches. Yeah, yeah. So, but you know, you'll start seeing those everywhere. But no, it's it's uh, a <laughs> it's really it's did did that come from you? Did you just go? Yeah. I so do this? so we actually did that a few years ago. Uh, I did it on Facebook initially. Um, do people still go there? No, so this was probably 2017, and at the time, the like Facebook algorithm was great for it, and I, I was getting like millions of views, and then they fucking, you know, they, they, they switched it up, and they changed the algorithm, and it plummeted, so I was like, all right, Facebook, I'm just never doing this again, see yeah. you later, see ya. and I left, and then I kind of, it was, it was on the back burner the last couple of years, and then in, right, right around the pandemic, when that started, we found out that like Instagram was going to start rewarding original content. They were going to crack down on on channels that just like aggregate, you know. Yes. So so I was like, all right, we can take the the, the viral video. And I I put some commentary on it, whatever, and now we can post it as original content. And I mean that that was the fastest success I've ever had. Like I, I I'm like a grinder usually. Like I started the podcast a long time ago. It does well, but it never like had a meteoric rise. Mm -hmm. Everything I do is like slow and steady kind of, but this was like bam right Explosion. away. Like millions yeah. of views. Yeah. My my personal uh my personal Instagram started growing fast. Like it was it was clear that like the this people works. want this. Works. this. Yeah, yeah. 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 So um I think I think I'm gonna maybe try to like, like do it like a little spin off on it. Like what I do now is I pick like the story of the day pretty much. But I'm thinking about, you know, there's always like two or three that are a little bit lesser than. Yeah. But if I put those together and make like a YouTube video, like here's a couple other stories of the day. It's great but because yeah, the, like you can you, you can like you feel like you're getting kind of a comedic take or rant or opinion on a topic that's topical. And like I said, it's you're not making a commitment. You're like, I'm just gonna watch this for like a minute or two, you know, and then right. you kind of feel like informed, you laugh and you go like, all right, that's and I feel like I don't know, you're gonna you know, it was it was sort of what the idea behind like Quibi was just like, hey, pare Short down form, content, middle, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I mean, that's exactly what I'm going for. So I'm happy to hear, uh, and and that's when I knew it was really working. Like when I hear it from guys like yourself, that like I really value their opinion and like guests that are coming on the show will be like, oh, I recognize you. Oh yeah. And that's when I was like, oh shit, this is this is something different. That's really starting. You made to me work. laugh. I was uh, um, on the Kylie one because uh, mm -hmm. you know everybody like, everybody did explode, and I actually. I was actually informed. I knew about people giving her shit. I didn't know why until I had watched your mm -hmm. uh, one right. minute, um, one minute man like rant about it because the the story was hilarious to begin with. Not not hilarious, but just that like but, this person was injured or, or sick, right? Yeah, car and, accident. Car yeah. accident, she, and then she's like, "We're trying to raise some money. I'll, I'll give you a few bucks. This is my friend." And then everyone was like, "What and the fuck? A swipe up? Yeah, a swipe fucking up. swipe up, man!" I was like, "I do that like trying to sell underwear for the podcast." But the funny Christ. thing is, too, is that you know you explained uh, for people that don't know, makeup artist in a car accident, uh, you know, serious injury needs money to obviously pay for bills, etc. Kylie posts this thing, "Hey, here's this makeup artist friend of mine injured, trying to raise money." I donated five thousand dollars. How about you guys? And everyone's like, "Aren't you a billionaire?" A bill dude. She made more last year than the other top four. Like she, those top five. She's number one. She made more than the other four combined. Jesus. Kanye, Kanye, Ronaldo, Messi, and uh, I don't know some one other guy uh, in in soccer. I think made more than all of them combined. What? And she's like, can you guys donate to this cause? And she's 22 or something? <laughs> yeah, it's bananas, Yeah, it was funny. Man. She did a pop-up at the mall that was by my house, my old house. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it's like a, you know, nice, like whatever, like fashion mall, like a nice, and it was just a pop-up. So it's not her fixed store. And right. I, I was in the mall that day, just, you know, uh, of course I was like, is Kylie's pop-up here? So I was, walk <laughs> I was walking through the mall and You're I camping saw, out waiting for it. I saw people like, I'm not exaggerating. Around like the 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 structure of the mall, like 
they were yeah. spilling out and I was like, what is going on? And it, they were, they were literally like five football fields long. Like, going, and I was like, what's going to, on? To like, cause it was like a meet and greet. Like you would get your chance no. or just to catch a glimpse of her. She wasn't there. It was just a, a like <laughs> it was a, just a pop, a lip, a lipstick release. They're like, oh, her, oh my God. her new shade of rouge is out. And people were like, I got to get it. And they were lining to up to it. give her like yeah. 80 bucks, you know, or whatever it is. Yeah. So much money, So man. much. Yeah. So, and, but see, the thing is you kind of go like the explanation. So I, I think we kind of left off the story. The explanation of why she only gave 5,000 and was doing a GoFundMe. She's like, well, I'm not really yes. that close to this guy. Right. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So, so her, her follow-up post was. I don't really know him that well. Yeah. And when I when I first went to the GoFundMe, their goal was ten thousand. Yeah. They were at five thousand. I donated the extra five. So yeah. in her mind, she's like, all right, I put it over the top. Yeah. Then they changed their goal. So she did kind of get screwed a she little did bit. She got screwed. But, but you don't. You can't make that. You can't. If you're gonna post about it, I'm gonna assume you're very close with that person. Yeah. Exactly. You know? For her to be like, well, I don't really know him that well. I'm like, well, then why the fuck were you being like, may God watch over his soul and like you do that yeah. for the people you care about, and if you do care about them, you just fucking. Break, break off 50k 50k you know? that's literally but like I, it also five i bucks. suck it, yeah. it sucks when you know if you're rich and you do anything nice someone's always going to be like well why didn't you give more why, why didn't, didn't you give more that's but true darren Ravel, jeff bezos donated a hundred million dollars yeah and darren Ravel was like that's only like blah 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 percent of his net worth uh -huh. it's like well yeah, yeah. but it's a uh, Hundred million. million, dude. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Like, come on. In mean, Kylie's case, five grand though. It's like Jesus. Five grand. Yeah. It really is some bullshit though. <laughs> Just like so little. Do it privately. Like there are regular ass people who are yeah. donating five k to the barstool fund to try to help out like restaurants and shit. Yeah. And this is Kylie trying to help someone she knows who got like thrown from a vehicle and like suffered horrific injuries. I guess like, there is. Jesus I mean, Christ. staying in that lane. You um, do, do you doubt or believe? The because uh, I know you did a, a one minute man post about Kanye's net worth. Do you believe it? Uh no, no, no. That 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 even so. Uh, Bloomberg said it's worth like six point six billion, uh -huh. and then Forbes came back and said they were using like best case scenario projections. Uh -huh. So like they're like Yeezy could be worth four point seven billion dollars. The first one, but today it's worth. You know, they said he's actually what's going on right now. Is one point eight billion. Yeah. So that's like, yeah. I mean, so basically, if you project, like how much I could. Shit. Yeah, one point eight like, billion. Chump is change. Nothing. Chump change. It is funny. He's always been weird. The personality but, types who are um, really about say that I'm worth more because he's he's one who's like no 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 I'm I'm worth billions more, right? right. Like you're already like super rich, like really crazy rich, and yep. and people assess your holdings and what is known and they go, this is how much you're worth. And the guys who are like, no, 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 it's definitely more than that because you're wrong. He's one like that. Trump is famously like that. And there's actually a really legitimately super wealthy Saudi prince who has sent Forbes leather bound books of his holdings to be like, I'm worth more. And they're like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Well, that's yeah. Bloomberg was like in a document obtained by Kanye West. I'm like, well, yeah, exactly. Prince, you know, I'm going to write like Prince Alawid. <laughs> I mean, you look at those three guys, Prince Alawid, yeah. Donald Trump and Kanye West are three like maniacal narcissists who are going to be like, no, totally. no, no, no. My, billions. I'm worth billions more. My favorite thing is one time Forbes was giving this write up about Alawid and they're like, he has like incredible holdings, right? Like just it's ridiculous. And they're laying out every, you know, all his business holdings and, and, you know, this company and that company and this and that, and he owns, you know, this many yachts and planes. And they're like, and uh, that that's him as a, also he, uh, he is outspokenly hates fat people. And they just, <laughs> <added that>. <laughs> <laughs> it was in way, an article. The by. <laughs> they're like, he hates fatties. <laughs> that's a, that's a tough look. If you're growing up in, you know, Saudi Arabia, a little overweight, just knowing that oh, Prince Alawid probably wants to have you beheaded at any moment. Oh man. <laughs> He, uh, yeah, this dude. Those like, guys are worth like hundreds of billions, what's right? This dude, the what does it say his net worth is? It's like always astronomical. It makes it makes like the Kanye numbers look yeah. Like so his his estimated net worth is fourteen point three billion, but oh. he has he's like reached out to like no 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 it's thirty yeah, yeah. and they're like no it's not. But I actually could believe that like he's like yeah man I have I have like. 
caves of gold. Yeah, oh, I believe about. it too. <laughs> you know, like I have an Aladdin lamp like in my backyard. Oh, like, I that believe sort it. Of shit. I also believe that he's like they would know that it's much more if they came here, but they would definitely cry and not be scared. leave. Yeah, yeah. Of the I, things that I, I, I I'm do. not gonna go audit the fucking Sultan Sultan of Brunei How or whatever. Fucking you psychopathic! Know? His this guy has to be so crazy. <laughs> Because uh, and imagine when you are wealthy, like we said, you know Justin Bieber, one hundred fifty million dollars, whatever, and he's living in America and he's being like an asshole, right? When you're when you're one of these guys where there are no rules, yeah, where it's like, okay, I'm going Go to up. just, uh, I'm going to kill the rich, I'm going to kill the fat people because That's, I can, yeah, you know. See, so yeah, like, it says over the rich list, hit that. Yeah, I'm I I gonna I'm gonna take swords and chop up all the fat people because that's just allowed in my country. And that, I have he, it definitely thirty would be. billion dollars. Saudi prince over rich list. So this must be that he, see, this is him. This is him saying, oh, that's from years ago. But this is him pushing back, being like, "Fuck your list," because <laughs> you didn't give me the placement I wanted on it. For sure, he did. Oh my god. Yeah. How much did he? Yeah, I'm sure he was just like, yeah, threatening to influence his net worth listing over the years. <laughs> like, but I, I mean, how much has your ego got to be insane? Yeah, his net worth is twenty billion, and you're only, you know, if you're twenty sixth on the list, and you're like, fuck that, it's still no not way, enough no, for I'm a not. place in the ranking. Oh yeah, so he was like, you left me off this list. See, oh see. Remember I said 30? He calculates that his net worth is 29.6. 29 29.6. That's, that's in 2013. So I'm sure now he's like, oh, it's 80. Big money. I mean, how about, you know, like fucking Elon Musk is now, you know, like, didn't he hit 200 at one point? That's what it said, yeah. What and happens he, if that guy dies? If something bad happens to him? That whole thing just collapses, right? Everything, yeah. Like, there's no, like, oh, I, you know, like John Steinberg's going to take over for Elon Musk. No, you know, it's you're over. right. If something happens to him, it's a wrap. Well, there was that, there was that, real scare when steve jobs died remember i mean it's, it's right. a little different but they were like they're like oh this is um this is you know it's not he's the visionary and they, there was like a right. dip but then apple was they're able fine. to you know yeah well ha, didn't uh bezos is stepping down right he's stepping down as the ceo but he'll still remain I bet you, on the board i bet you there's chair. some shit going on i bet you i bet you we see like a scandal with him you don't just step down from that yeah I think he's trying to get ahead of something Maybe. He's only got $180 billion, it says. Chump. Fucking chump, man. I, it has to, I mean, he just looks like a... He looks like a villain now. Yeah, you can't... Like, that guy can't just be like, hi, I'm worth, you know, $50,000. Yeah. I work at the... the you know, I work... I sell cars. Like, no, you, you had to be a freak. The real interesting thing is how you look when you're worth that much versus mm -hmm. when you weren't. Like, the Bezos in the 90s, Elon Musk in the 90s, and then now... Yep. They yep. <laughs> yeah, they basically look like young Tiger Woods. Like, hi, what's your name? Yeah. And then now they're like, what's up, baby? Yo, like, how about the uh, how about the princes, William and Harry, being like going bald? Like, yeah. get those fucking get the hair plugs and shit. Buy Bro, like a whole new head. I'm I'm thinking of it. I uh, I had I had prime time on, and uh -huh. he got his hair back. He go he told me he's like, we could bring you back. Dude, and then if you had like a full head of hair, it would dude, be the greatest bit ever. Dude, I look look at him. If you were like looks great. flowing locks. Dude, oh, I, oh. I would do what you have. I would fucking go back <laughs> like this. I think I might be too confident if I had your hair. Watch out, man. It might be Tom a problem. Segura with flow. Oh, it my might God. be a problem. You'll run around and be like, I don't like fat people anymore. I got <laughs> hair. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you see Erlacher in my presence. Erlacher's uh hair? Yes. Dude. <laughs> I mean, God, you're bad at this. It's Brian. <laughs> you. Yeah, there he is. You are. There you go. Yeah, he, and know. he just did that like overnight, right? We just like all of a sudden he just, he just came we out. We hadn't even with seen hair. him in a while. And then, right. and then, yeah, I mean, he had just like, pow. He had like my dome. locks. That's my inspiration. He's my inspiration. Yeah. But my I problem mean, is, this is my problem. If I had oh. hair, I want to be able to, to actually do this, to buzz it. And I'm like, does it look like a bunch of dots if you buzz it? I don't oh, want that. Oh yeah, that's not yeah. good. And that's not good that, at all. So I'd bro, rather if you get if you get 
you, how big of an asshole are you? You're gonna get a hair transplant and then <laughs> shave your head. Yeah. What a dumb, what yeah. a dumb dickhead you are. <laughs> I, know, I know. I'm gonna Christ. do it though. You know what you should do? And I'll just keep telling people I had a hair transplant a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We just can like tell. This. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Do you remember Carlos Boozer? Yes. When he shoe polished his head. That is so crazy. I mean, did it's he ever one of the come out and tell things. a story? Was it? Was there? A I story? think he. I think he did actually relatively recently. I think it was just like a. Like a bad, I, I don't, I, I think it there wasn't was something a joke. behind it that I think he was just doing, like he was just getting new hair sprayed on. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, like things in sports history. That picture particularly is it's straight up shoe polish. And the uh, is, the other crazy thing is for how much money, influence, resources LeBron has, why thing. isn't hit shit like just nice? Why? Or, or either, either, either shave it or get it implanted. Uh, like yeah. you have all the means in the world, and you're gonna run around. Cause you know what? Doesn't matter how rich you are. When people are clowning you for like your patchy bald spots, it's it hurts. It, it's, it hurts. Of course, man. it hurts. But it's also like, yeah. it's strange that like you are this level person What's in society, point? and you're like, oh, I forgot fix to fix it. Get it fixed. What? Forgot, like now I'm stuck. I I was I was losing my hair. Isn't there like a the fucking very barber on the did. bus? Huh? Figure it out. I, I was losing my hair and I like I I got on like Propecia and shit right away. It was like the first thing I fucking did. How old were you? And it like twenty. It was like right when I first got engaged. I was like twenty nine. I posted a picture mm -hmm. and everyone was like, "Whoop! See you fucking later." That hair is gone. And, and I was like, "You've been able to is? maintain Holy shit just from the the pill that Propecia." So I I got like a I got lucky and got like almost like a little came back almost in a way. It was like wow. I I had. I had bad receding, mm -hmm. and I do. I did the Propecia, and I do like the hair growth gummies and shit. And like, I'm holding on. I'm Bro, gonna do that until the good, day I man. die. Your looks good. Thank you, man. And do you have the back? That. Is your back? Do you have the hole in the yeah. back? Or no? Oh, ba no, back's no. all good. That's, Jesus, man. The, the only problem I'm gonna have is a little bit of the, a little bit of like the receding no. widow's peak. But I'm I'm good, man. You're fucking gonna, fine, man. You got yeah, good hair. <laughs> Let's fuck him. Let's cut him off. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I I actually I I've said it before in a podcast. I saw that that you know that guy, the 76ers owner who like really took a liking to Meek Mill. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. He was doing some interview. He was like, "Oh yeah, my, uh, he said I got my hair done and like restored and it like it looks yeah. amazing. He looks fantastic. Like full fuck not like that, that guy. I think that's different the guy. point of having money is to like, you know, the girls do it, like plastic surgery and all sorts of shit. Why don't we do it? I know. I know. Ruben. Do it, Tom. Do it. Yeah. R-U-B-I-N. Isn't that his name? Michael yeah. Ruben? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That guy. He did it. And yeah, fucking full head of hair. What if you just man. start doing like, uh, like really good toupees? I saw a guy with that and it freaked me the fuck out. It was a guy I followed on social media and he goes, oh, some of you have been talking about my hair. So, um, and I, this is a guy that I'm watching, like I'm watching you, like watching yeah. this clip and right. I'd never thought about his hair. I was like, yeah, he's got hair. And he goes, so today I'm going to show you when I get my wig put on. I was like, what? And then he, he took his fucking hair off and I was like, whoa, <laughs> like you didn't have to do this, man. You just traumatized <laughs> me. You could, yeah. Like yeah. that's the other thing is like, if you're going to do that, like just let people think it's your real hair. Yeah. No? I don't even understand why what, he, is he did just it. like, like, like peel it off Dude, or something. He had the pro come a pro person comes. And he's like, I do this like once a month or something. And I was like, uh, I would never do that. I, um, I saw really, I sometimes see really bad ones on planes. Like I'll be on, I'll be on a plane and the guy will sit down uh -huh. in front of you and you're like, bro, yikes. Yeah. How could, yeah, how could this gonna... be worse? Than what <laughs> that's I'm what I'm at. saying. Yeah. It, it, if you're gonna do it, it's gotta be perfect. When it doesn't match up, or when it really it, just looks like a mop, it's like yeah, it looked like somebody on. gathered leaves from their yard <laughs> and glued it to his head. It looks like shit. Or 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 when you're like a thousand years old in the face and yeah. you have like a jet, jet black, black, like full head yeah. of hair, like, like Seagal, like, dude. You're like, yeah, it's uh, and it actually works for Steve. He looks great. <laughs> yeah, he looks fantastic. <laughs> Dude, he looks like such. What's that expression? He looks like ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. <laughs> he is. He's something special, man. Jet look at black. that. Look oh. how dark that look is. Look at that. He's kind of got the boozer with the with the widow's peak. And there. the widow's Holy peak shit. is like it's yeah, it's really come. I bet he gets his that they probably staple that thing onto his head. <laughs> <laughs> he looks terrible. You think you think he could still like fuck people up? Yes. Yeah, because yes. all like, the videos you see now are like he just like. 
Here's the thing. you aside and they go flying in the Competition air. Competition but- level or in a cage or something? No. no. But if you're like in a bar or restaurant and you're like, hey, bitch, and talk some he shit to him, I think yeah. he would absolutely paralyze you. Yeah. <laughs> he's a big fuck. And they he's said- He's tall, that, right? He's yeah. like 6'5". And <laughs> now he's like, looks like he's about 325. Right. And he, here's the thing, like that, he has grown man, like gorilla strength, you know? Like, right. A, a big ass man like that. And they said that, you know, before all the fame and all that shit, he's six, uh, six four. He could he just was, fuck you up. He, dude, he would like in Japan, like when he went and and trained, that he would just part of that culture. Then was challenge anybody who is also trained to a fight and like you yeah. just fucking fuck people up. Yeah. You think you think if he was in like a bar fight right now, he'd like pull out the moves? Or you think I think he would, he just, would like, strangle dirty. you and like punch you in the face. I think it'd be kind of dirty, but I yeah. think I think um, it's it's this kind of thing. M- most people he would really severely fuck up even at right. would have 58 or whatever old he like i think he would right. still like if i went up to him i was yeah, like yeah. fuck you i think he would <laughs> crack my fucking skull I could just see yeah. him crack it like yeah <laughs> go to sleep go to sleep yeah. go to sleep yeah 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 i mean a trained fighter could fuck him up cuz he's you know yeah older now like all right so like so like steve Seagal versus those the the mma kids in in the alabama in the, the football bar like who wins that fight <sighs> cuz those guys were smaller but younger, obviously, he's like six five, three eighty, like you yeah, said. Yeah, I mean, you know, like what? Who 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 wins that round? I mean, I I will say that you don't want to fight wrestlers. I mean, you just don't. Like, I think they would. No. They're young and they're scrappy, and they probably win it, get it over on them. But mm-hmm. I think a lot yeah, my, of people... my rule, like, if I see you got the ears, if you got oh, cauliflower ears, I'm out. Yeah, I am out. If you got the cauliflower out. ears, you are sir to me. Hey, right. sir. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I will no. steer clear of you in every fucking way. Because no those problem. those guys in the in the bar fight, they were wearing the cowboy boots, mm-hmm. and I feel like that was another sign. If I see a guy with cowboy boots, I'm yeah. out. Yeah. See a guy with the 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 cauliflower ears, I'm out. I see a guy wearing like a motorcycle cut, I'm out. There are yeah. certain signals. Yeah, and you like don't get the, you don't get the you. ears for fucking around in sixth grade wrestling. You get it for no. being about that life. Like you are right. a, in an it. adult guys who are smashing your ears against the ground Dude. over and over and over again. Yeah, those guys are. That's a whole other level. I remember I talked to uh, what was it Brendan Schaub one time about like walking into a, he's like you walk in like an ESPN party, and you know you'll see like super famous people and there's all these like it's all alpha dudes, you mm-hmm. know. And then he's like, but then like everybody goes, oh, there's a fucking MMA fighter here, <laughs> like everybody's that's- like. Hey man, <laughs> that's like, why I'm saying I yeah. would pick the the yeah. fighting thing. Like he walks in that party and it's like, cool man. Like you have a Super Bowl ring, but like I'll fuck you up. Yeah, you know it. And you everybody know that knows if some it, shit so. went down. I would kill you with my right. hands. I could end. I remember Rogan saying that at one point. He was like, I'll break both your arms and leave you sitting there. You won't even be able to get up. Like I'll break both your arms in a. In a. And he, I was uh, like, yeah. Rogan said one time. I think it was Eric Griffin was on his show. I saw the clip where I think it was Eric. I might be wrong. Said like, well, what's like the practicality like what's the practical point of knowing how to fight and he goes well the practical point is if we fought i would kill you <laughs> practically speaking yeah. you'd be dead and i wouldn't be I was like, so oh, that, that is there a very you go practical usage of that yeah <laughs> yeah and those guys are um you know you said like what how would you be they are you you have like a zen like calm about you when you're a killer when you're a trained killer yeah you're just it, like oh everything's fine it's not like I sit around thinking like if if shit goes down in this party I'm in trouble. Like I'm not like paranoid like that, but I guess the opposite of knowing yeah. at any given moment if things go primal, yeah. I I'm okay. You're not. I'm okay. You're you know dead. What is? You're it's, dead. I'm okay. It's an extension of you ever do like, you know, those days where you 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 grind out really hard in the gym and then afterwards you're like, oh, "I feel so like relaxed." Like there's like it's that it, you to the max. It's to the max. It's like yeah. I've I'm a trained murderer with my hands right and i and i you know you work that shit all the time that you gotta be feeling that like that floating feeling of you know yeah if there's any problems here i can definitely handle it uh and 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 occasionally do it just yeah. occasionally occasionally just, someone looks just at show me to wrong. yourself i i still got it just ah, like chop you in the throat and leave you there like yeah you know what be fun to do is like you uh you approach a woman and you start talking to her. Okay. And she's All like, right. Settle down. No, no. And then she's <laughs> like, oh, you're talking to her. And then like some guy comes up. Uh, excuse me. She's with me. And you just choke him out and walk away. And then she's like, oh, That's it. that was cool. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. I just wanted to choke him out. Yeah. Here's, you'll, you'll find me. Here's you'll my call number. Because you saw that. Oh, right. Right. Oh. That's a good move. Choking out just an asshole. How great would that be? 
There's a couple there's some, times some, some guys being a dick at the bar, or like causing a scene. Yeah, a couple times in life, hero. I wish I'd had that 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 mm -hmm. jujitsu training, right? When <sighs> someone's being a real fucking cocksucker, it would have been nice to have that in the back pocket. The, I think the problem is the guys who who learn that they're like, you know, don't use this. This is oh, only yeah. for danger, and you like respect the rules of jujitsu. I'd be yeah. like, uh, that guy, he looked at me wrong. Ah! You know, that guy, I don't like, he's always oh, rooting for the Yankees. Ah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would be abusing that power Dude, very quickly. You got to get into jiu-jitsu. It'd be awesome if you turn into that guy. Like, imagine high level black belt, but you're a bully. It'd be awesome. <laughs> I'd come in here just beating motherfuckers up. Oh, it'd be the shit, man. man. It'd be the greatest. If I just choked out Portnoy, oh, oh dream dude. come true. He fucking deserves it. And and fucking just big eating cat. eating his pizza and I just shove it down his throat. Nah, now you're dead. Eating his fucking pizza. Hey, I got pizza today. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> oh, you're going to give it a rating? Yeah. Oh, ah, you're dead. Yeah, the cheese is too saucy. All right. <laughs> fucking choke your ass out. Now, now you're not breathing ever again. Um... <laughs> Kev, thank you for coming on, man. This was thank fun. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Dude. Uh, love the it's content, a real honor. the podcasts, uh, the Instagram, the One Minute Man. It's fun. Uh, I love coming on. So I hope we get to do it on on yours again. O Definitely open will. invite, man. And I was telling the guys before, any of your shows, anything you guys ever need, we're you know we're huge fans. So appreciate let me know. It. As I am of you. Thank you again for coming, man. Have a good one, brother. You too, buddy.